Hello and welcome to A Little Crafting. I hope you're doing well and um, today I'm going to talk a bit about summer tops that I've been inspired to knit um, and that's because at the moment I am working on the design which is Anchor's summer shirt um, and that is over here just to show you that. I mentioned it in my last podcast episode um, so that's coming along nicely now um, and it's a yoked top. Um, I am knitting it in 100% linen which is Antigon by Dorerum Natura and it will kind of go over the shoulders and then you've got stockinette for the rest of the way. It's got this lovely um, yoke detail here um, and it's been quite popular recently and has been in the hot list on Ravelry quite a bit. Um, but enough about what I'm actually knitting at the moment. I had a little look at some patterns in my Ravelry queue and my Ravelry likes just to see what other summer or spring tops I would like to knit this year if I have enough time to knit five uh, summer tops. Um, and I wanted to talk to you about what I'll be doing with them. Um, so I'll endeavour to pop a picture here of each one whilst I talk about it, which is why I'm sitting so far across. Um, something else to talk about is I have had my hair cut and dyed, so I realise I probably look quite different at the moment. This is what I would normally look like pre-Covid, um, but it's been a year and two months since I had my hair done last, so it's now nice and tidy and um, a slightly darker colour than my natural colour which I'm really enjoying today. I <laughs> hope you like it as well. Um, so let's get going uh, with my list. Um, so the first top that I really want to knit is the Sagittaria, I think that's how you pronounce it, um, by Marathi Amelie Designs. Um, and this is, this can either be knit as a top or as a long sleeved sweater. I got this pattern as a gift for my birthday from a couple of friends um, and I wanted to knit the top version rather than the sweater version. It's an all over colour work design and it's it made in fingering weight yarn held double. The designer used a yarn called Holst Super Soft and I have knit with that yarn before so I thought actually that I'd use the same yarn as the designer. Um, so I need to order a bit of yarn for that. Um, I need to knit the second smallest size based on my measurements and that will give me 11 centimetres of ease around my body. So it'll be quite a loose fit um, of a top. Um, you need 470 yards of the main colour and 410 yards of the contrast um, and I had a look at other test knit versions of this top um, and I really liked Sarah in Paris's version. Um, what she did was did the whole thing in one background colour which was the plum colour for Holst Garn um, and then two contrast colours um, that were lighter pinks to go with it and I thought the effect of fading those looked really lovely um, although she did make a comment in her pattern project page that um, she would have just not done the fade in between so just created one the top part in one colour and the bottom part in another colour. Um, so it's to bring out these lovely arrow details that you can see in the picture just here. Um, I think that looks really lovely to have those different colours um, especially for a summer top I think. I'm gonna go for a couple of colours so cranberry as the main colour which is a lovely raspberry pink which is just a colour that I gravitate towards and then two other colours which are lighter pinks, red clover and geranium which kind of edges on the coral colour. Um, so I hope that will be a really effective top. Um, and Holst Garn Super Soft is actually a really affordable yarn. Um, I order it directly from the Danish website and I hope for the UK that I won't have to pay any customs on that this year. We'll see. Um, but it's very affordable, so $3.73 for 50 grams, and for this entire top I will need four sets of 50 gram balls or cakes, and that will make the top cost 
$14.92 plus the postage that I have to pay, which is not bad for a summer top. In fact, if I was knitting a sweater, I don't think it would be that much more. Um, so it's a really good price for the yarn. Um, interestingly, with Holst Garn Super Soft, it actually comes with spinning oil in it. So it's quite rough to knit with, I found so far, but once you wash it out, it kind of blooms together and will make a really, really nice top. The next pattern I'm going to knit, I will just pop a picture of here again, um, and that is the Spring Sorrel by Will and Pine. So I've been eyeing up the Sorrel sweater for a long time because it's very similar to a shop bought sweater that I have, um, which had the same kind of radiating design on the yoke. Um, this is again a yoke sweater, so it will be knit top down. Um, and it is the the spring version is a short sleeved version in DK weight yarn um, with the same yoke detail as the sorrel pullover. Um, it recommends four inches of negative ease, so it makes sense for me to go for the thirty inch finish size, um, which is size two again. And it requires five hundred and fifty yards of DK yarn. Um, so I actually bought a few skeins to make up a lovely fade set and I know that in most of the pattern pictures the spring sorrel isn't faded in the same way as the um, regular sorrel sweater is but I thought I would try and fade it because I have this fade and I'm not doing anything else with it at the moment. Um, so I'm going to show you what I actually have because I actually have the yarn for this one. Um, so my first colour is a BFL DK from Rivernitz, which is in the Salisbury's colourway, which is this lovely kind of turquoisey teal, kind of light teal, I would say, more like more than turquoise. It's a bit more on the green side. Um, so I really, really love this colour. Let me show you a close up. There you go. So that's my colour number one, and I did three colours overall, but. I think I'll be a little bit short on yardage, so I've got another one which I might do the collar and the um, top, the ends of the sleeves and then the bottom in. My second colour is Stranded Dye Works Castaway DK, which I bought an absolute age ago from an un unravel that I went to. Um, and that is this colour, and that is, it's a Superwash Merino DK in Industrial Kingfisher. A really gorgeous colourway um, and I'm looking forward to finally using that skein as well and then the last one is actually one that, a colourway that I'm using for my current sweater which is the Ingalls in red and white um, and this is just paper um, in Madeleine Tosh DK twist um, so they're my three colours like that which I love the look of and I think will make a fabulous spring top because they're really great colours for spring. Um, and my con my other contrast colour is another skein of a River Knits BFL DK which I have and this is Silvermond um, and that is just a simple light grey. Um, so yeah, I'm thinking I will either knit in those three and have this as the contrast or those three and have the grey as the contrast. We'll see what happens. Um, but yeah, I'm really looking forward to knitting this pattern as I, like I said, I've been <laughs> lusting over the sorrel for some time and hopefully this will be a quicker knit than doing a full sweater. Um, I think I might make it a bit longer but what I'll do is I'll try it on as I go as it's top down that will be fairly easy to do and um, make sure that it's the right fit for me. Um, so yeah, looking forward to that one. The third pattern I want to talk about is a Velicore by Andrea Maori and this one is a kind of boxy shaped top um, it's got a boat neck so quite a wide neck um, and it's made in fingering weight yarn with a bit of a checker pattern overall. Um, once again I will be knitting size 2 based on my measurements um, so the second size up. 
and you can choose to knit this in as many colours as you like so you can have a a main colour and then stripe lots of different colours for the detail. Um, I'm going to do it in three colours I think um, and I'm going to look out for a wool and cotton blend for this one. So Andrea's knit two samples, one is in 100% wool uh, which is more of a kind of transitional um, top but I would like it to be a lot lighter so I'm going to go for her second option which is a cotton and wool blend. I'm going to unravel in a couple of weeks so I'm going to look out for some yarn that will work and if not I will order something online. But I'm really excited to try some different blends of yarn this year. So not just using 100% wool or 100% cotton, actually using some different types that I haven't used before. Um, so for this one you need 661 yards of the main colour, 284 or of a second colour and 61 of the third colour. So I'll need probably two skeins of um, a finger on weight yarn for the main colour and then a little bit for the third colour. Not sure what colours yet of course because I haven't had a chance to look around but I am thinking of something fairly spring like so maybe a kind of lighter green um, with a cream or something like that to uh, make the most of the lovely spring colours. Moving on to the next top, so number four out of five that I want to talk about, and that is the Pretty in Pleats by Andrea Yetman. And this is a fingering weight tank top, which I think looks absolutely lovely. Um, and it's a free pattern, so there's an added bonus there that you don't have to fork up any money for the pattern itself. I have already ordered some yarn for this one and that is some Isiga Bomulin. I'm not sure if that's the right pronunciation but I've chosen colour 16 which is a denim blue um, and this yarn is 65% cotton 35% linen and as such I think it will be a really lovely drapey top um, that I can wear in the really hot summer months without any worry. Um, so I'm hoping to have a really nice tank top um, I've not considered knitting a tank top before, I feel like it's a bit of an odd thing to knit but um, I think that's because we have the mindset of knitting in wool or knitting something thick whereas actually if you knit something in a light yarn then it's very lovely drapey and soft as well. <laughs> And finally, the last one that I want to talk about is the Sprinkle Tea by Lisa Hannis. Now, I'm a big fan of Lisa Hannis and her shawls, and I saw this one and I thought it was a lovely pattern. Um, it's another boat neck, kind of boxy top, um, but it has a lovely mild effect with two different colours used together. The sample knit is knit in Ito Rakuda yarn which is a 70% wool and 30% camel but annoyingly I haven't been able to find anywhere to get the yarn in the UK so I was going to go for the same one but I'm thinking actually again of going for something a bit lighter. Um, I think what I'm going to go for as I have to make a Holzgarn purchase for my first top um, I'm going to go for a Holzgarn coast um, and I'm aiming to have roughly the same colours as the sample. I'm not being very inventive, I know, but I quite like the kind of neutral effect of that. Um, so I'm going to go for the lead colour, which is a kind of medium grey, and the putty colour, which is almost white. I need 1,392 yards for this one, um, so I'm going to knit size 3, um, and therefore I just need two cakes of each colour so adding up to roughly the same as my other top um, which will be really nice so just under $15. So let's see if I manage to make these. I hope I'm inspiring you to have a look at some different top patterns um, because it is really nice to think of different things to knit. I'm so used to just going for jumpers all the time that actually thinking about short sleeves and a lighter garment is a really nice thing to do. Um, let's see how I get on. 
I will probably start to knit the ones that I have the yarn for first. Um, so I'll probably go for the spring sorrel um, and then I will have to give you a little review of the yarns when I actually get them in the end, probably at the end of a podcast episode. Thanks very much for watching and I hope you like this episode. Please let me know if you have any comments below um, and do like and subscribe if you can as this helps me get more visibility. Have a lovely week and I'll speak to you in a week's time for a regular episode. Bye.